Hey, God bless. Praise the Lord Jesus. He is the way. And I want to talk about perseverance through through the hard times, through the dry times. What makes it easier to persevere? And uh, this is one of the reasons why Jesus talks about this. I'm going to go to Luke chapter 6, verse 47, and I'm going to start there. It said, Whoever, whosoever cometh to me, Jesus, to, to, to Jesus, and heareth my sayings, do with them, I will show you to whom he is like. Hear if my saith and do with them. He is like a man who built a house and dig deep and laid the foundation on a rock. When the flood arose, the stream beat vehemently upon that house and could not shake it, for it was founded upon a rock. But he that heareth and doeth not is like a man without a foundation built a house upon the earth against which the stream did beat vehemently and immediately fell and the ruin of that house was great so we we look at we look at these houses these houses are us you know our spiritual foundation and um you know people you know we're tossed to and fro if we if we don't get in here and listen to the word and stay in the word you're being tossed to and fro. You know, it says take on your armor of God so you can stand against the wiles of the devil. Look, when you become a Christian, you step into a war zone. I'm going to tell you, and, 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 and sometimes you ain't feeling the best you can feel. And I'm going to tell you something, but when you build your house up on that rock and you've been persevering through storms and you get through a couple of them, I want to tell you, if you're going through something right now where you're, where you're kind of fading away, it says grieve not the Holy Spirit for you are sealed to the day of redemption. So therefore, if you're going through a dry spell, don't worry, just continue to persevere, continue to wake up and pray, continue to thank Jesus as soon as you open your eyes. Thank you, Jesus, because I know that you can use me today. Thank you, Jesus. What do you want me to do? Stuff like that and then pray to him. Get on your knees and pray to him, whatever. And, and before you go to bed, I'm telling you how important these things are. No matter what you may be going through, praise him in the storm, because I'm going to tell you something. That joy is coming. That 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 that, that, that he's, he's going to show up and then things are going to work out. Something's about to happen when things are going on like this. You're going through dry spells and you're persevering. God is good, man. You know, sometimes we go through tests like that, but God will show up in time of need. He will. All things work together for good for those who love God and, and are called according to his purpose. Serve the Lord with gladness. You know, even when you're going through a hard, dry time, serve the Lord anyways. Praise the Lord anyways. Tell him how wonderful he is anyway. He's beautiful and wonderful and full of majesty and just... He's just amazing. He is the healer of healers, the doctor of doctors. He still heals people today. All you got to do is have that faith. He's, still, he's alive. <laughs> Christ is alive. So I just want to tell people this morning to persevere if you're going through a dry spell and trust the Lord. Make sure you built that house up on a rock so you don't get tossed to and fro. Take your armor, your armor of God in Jesus' name. God bless you.